what are we again? Well, we were last time. We kind of still are. Hi, and welcome to Box Office Maniacs. I'm Maniac Vince Maniachi. Oh. And Vince has a sometimes forgets his name, but my name is David Graves. <laughs> well, we did the whole maniac thing last time. I know. I'm David the Maniac Graves. I'm Vince the Maniac. Vince Maniac. So tonight we are going to be reviewing G.I. Joe Retaliation. We have to assume that there's no one we can trust. There is one man. Hello, my name is Brandon Maniachi. G.I. Joe! Ah! Oh. Don't go there, Vince. <laughs> now, I actually went back and watched our review we did of the first G.I. Joe. Why? What? I said why. Why what? Why would you go back and watch that? <laughs> because, I mean, I was a huge G.I. Joe fan. It's between me and my brother, we had tons of these action figures. So what did you think of G.I. Joe the movie? I have to say, I... What was your big thing that you were annoyed about? Can you stop saying the scenes in the movie? There were some things about it that were way too predictable. Like... First of all, this wasn't Transformers. And I really hate to say that this was geared more towards kids. The reality was that it was. I didn't have no complaints about this movie. Now, I don't think I'm giving anything away here, but... Because of the predictability, and I completely agree with that. So what the hell are you going to give it? <laughs> <laughs> Three and a half out of five. I'm going to give it five... Naked Watts. And I'm going to give it four Normans. Can you get to the end already? I don't know. I did. Oh. I might want to retaliate my money back. Really? Maybe. All right, well. Just jump right in, Vince. Get your toes wet. Dip into the G.I. Joe pool of, of te testosterone. I can't right now. My dog's barking. Just, just dip in, Vince. Go ahead and dip in. Get, get your toes wet. Dog's barking. I can't do the review. It's all in the review. I'm kind of a big fan of G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe regeneration. Regurgitation. Um, I meant retaliation. Anyways. You know, I was really looking forward to this G.I. Joe movie because I grew up with G.I. Joe. It was one of my main cartoons along with He-Man and Thundercats. And all those came on around the same time. So I was a huge G.I. Joe fan. So, you know, I went into this with high hopes, thinking that they're going to restart this franchise brand new with The Rock in it and uh, Bruce Willis in it. I was like, okay, come on. This is going to be great. But at least give it a good kick in the butt so that it really makes it a G.I. Joe film. What I find weird about this film is it's a direct sequel to the first movie. Because this is G.I. Joe Retaliation. Yeah, but I thought, you know, if they're going to redo it, do something new. Come up with a new story, you know. G.I. Joe Regeneration. It, I don't know. I, I thought they could have done something better. Regurgitation. Story-wise with this. I like The Rock because it stayed in... I mean, <laughs> it stayed in the desert. I mean, I like The Rock. Not The Rock that's in the desert. The, the Rock, the wrestler. Or Dwayne Johnson. Is that his name? The Rock was cool in the movie. Bruce Willis was only in the movie for about 20 minutes, so what, 15 minutes at the most. The action in here was okay. There's some really good, spectacular action sequences, but for the most part, it's just a generic action film. There was lots of it that I liked, but there was lots of it I didn't care for. It is really a mixed bag of, of stuff. <laughs> I really like this movie because the characters and the action sequences was great, and I just like this movie. It has a lot of great scenes in it, has some funny scenes in it, even has one of my favorite games in it. You know, I actually, for an action film, it seemed like it slowed down so much towards the middle of it. Like, nothing was going on. It was just dragging and dragging and dragging. And Cobra Commander's in this movie, and they show him, you know, 
in the beginning of it. I totally forgot he was in the movie until he showed back up again because he's out of the film for like, you know, almost half the movie. It seemed like the Cobra part of it, it's all Zartan. Yeah, no, it's not even Zartan. It's some old guy. Well, it's Zartan. That's who, you know, as we know from the last film, Zartan becomes the president. It's, it's Zartan, but... You know, the, the, some old guy is the president, and that's the actor playing the president. And he's not really that threatening. I mean, he's an old president. Right, but it all focuses around him. It's like the Zartan show. Exactly. So Cobra Commander is there, but that's that's all it is. He's just there. There's no real menace to it, because even though, yeah, you would think he's the one controlling everything, he's the one in the background, it's Zartan doing all the dirty work. You know, what you said is exactly what this movie was. No real threat to anything. It, ne it never really felt like a threat to anything in this movie, because, you know, you're not really scared of some old president guy, even though it's Zartan. Cobra Command is only in this movie for probably about seven or eight minutes. He's in the film, or, or less than that. And it's like there's nothing really, no evil going on in this movie that much. One thing uh, that I did enjoy about the film was that they brought up Flint and Lady J and Firefly, and of course, The Rock is Roadblock. So, you're taking off in the spaceship? <laughs> that was my heater, it just came on. It sounds like a spaceship. Like a UFO landing or something. In fact, I am in space right now. I'm retaliating against this movie. I went to space. <laughs> yeah, your, your spaceship is driving me crazy here. Oh, it's taking off. So what was I saying? I have no idea. Okay, in the first film, they had this whole underground lair. How in the world could that just be gone? <laughs> and all the Joes be gone? So they blew them up. All that's left is The Rock and his little band of merry men. And a lady. I mean, it's because of The Rock. The Rock's uh, pecs save the other two. The problem with this movie is a lot of the characters are just there's it's like they're just there. They're just hanging out. Bruce Willis is just hanging out there. Cobra Commander is just hanging around, you know, wait, waiting for his part. Well, I found it as like I said, a very generic action film. You know, and that's stupid because here you got GI Joe and, and GI Joe is all about GI Joe against Cobra and they all had like this technology and really cool gadgets and weapons and stuff and very little of that is in here so and then by the end of it i was just like okay and i was kind of bored with it towards and i don't know Ugh. Fro, shut up <laughs> we have all these dogs barking in our review and i don't know Ugh. they're barking but the only problem with it was that i don't really get it you know i don't get some things in it but I can say, this is a good movie. I was, quite, I was kind of bored with it towards the middle of it. Um, it wasn't like a big blockbuster movie that I thought was, it, I was hoping it was going to be. And there was no real threat in this film. If Cobra Commander was the main bad guy here, maybe it would have been a better film. So, yeah, there's no real threat. There's no real evil in the film. There's, you know... So I just found it to be... It, although it was entertaining, it was just... It wasn't what I was really hoping for. And I was hoping that it would be a lot better than the first one. So you didn't like it as much as the first one? Is that what you're saying? I liked it for different reasons. This one, at least, I didn't find so predictable. Anyway, what are you giving this movie, Vince? I would have to give G.I. Joe Retaliation a 3 out of 5. On the Maniac Meter, I give it four out of five. And I would give G.I. Joe Part 2 Retaliation a three out of five. It's fun. It's good action film to take the kids to actually and and I don't think it's necessarily kid geared. No, this one def this one definitely is not geared towards the kids like the first one was. This is more of an adult action film unlike the first one. So th th it has that going for it. 
and I think you're gonna enjoy it as much as I did. If you're a big G.I. Joe fan, you're gonna like it too. David liked it, and Dad liked my dad. My dad, which is Vince Maniachi, he liked it too. Box office maniacs here. I'm Addy. <laughs> G.I. Joe! G.I. Joe retaliation only on Machinima. G.I. Joe is there! G.I. Joe is an American hero! G.I. Joe is there! It's G.I. Joe against Cobra and Destro fighting to save the day! He never gives up, he's always there! Fighting for freedom over land and air!